All right. So we've got animes. We've got, we got animes. Uh, Nippon Ichi, actually, so it's great. Right. So as we go ahead and get started, this place. I want to tell the viewer a little bit about what you know about this game? Sure. So we can hear, so we can hear it, right. Yeah, we haven't done the PS3 I, recording in a long time. So. What am I doing in a place like Basically, this? this is a Nippon Ichi game, which is a bit unfortunate because I had thought that Atlas had, had, their, had their hand in it, because they're usually the ones that place? do Japanese god games. Mm -hmm. um, the idea, as the story mm -hmm. unfolds, is that you play as a rather, relatively ordinary kid huh? who is what, what drafted into a war between angels and demons and is basically created as a synthetic god idea being that you are eventually supposed to have nearly omnipotent power which in and of itself is kind of an uh, interesting premise i don't know what you're saying but um it is a roguelike rpg Fate. so i think it actually Fate. did this a little bit before that was cool uh, i think this was 20 what are you trying to 14, tell me 2014 are you sure mm -hmm. huh so in that case, I did it after it was cool. Uh, at least a localized version is. Yeah. Right. But, uh... <laughs> and obviously, you know, the character that you are seeing now, Shin Kamikaze there. <laughs> yes, yes, I know, I know. Um, he is the main character. He's also the only one that you control. Mm. So... I'm trying to think, is there anything else that people really need to know? That's kind of the stock story going on. Right. It's kind of it's got kind of the um, kind of the visual novel type thing that that a hot of a boyfriend did. You know, it's a very much kind of these still images with the with text going and stuff like that. Right. Uh, oh yeah, that is the other thing, uh, and the reason why I think that it might actually be what are you a doing? decent stream idea is that unlike most deities. You actually have the option of uh, basically delving more into angelic or demonic power. What's wrong with you? Waking up and almost falling? Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll be getting schooler? choices throughout the game <laughs> to basically d decide whether you want to basically pick a, pick a... Yeah, pick the angel side or the devil side. Which one's on your shoulder, basically. And the two relationships that you can form, obviously one is an angel, one is a devil. And going with them also... I don't want to speak over their dialogue, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. Yeah. Shut up. Um, but yes, as you interact with them, you also gain points for the appropriate side of your being, and you gain power as a result. This also is kind of an interesting game in which they really try to emphasize that the moral decisions do not necessarily have the outcomes that you would want. My original idea for this stream was actually something like the Odyssey in action, or the Odyssey for thee and not for me, basically the problem of evil. Mm -hmm. And the first two decisions in particular really kind of emphasize how this game looks at it. So I will be opening up the major decisions to the chat and uh, allowing people to kind of choose which way we go from there. Thankfully, uh, the ability points that you gain from leveling up can be applied to either side, so you can balance out, indeed you'll want to, because you meet about half and half devils and angels. Mm -hmm. But you'll so, understand that a bit more once we actually get into combat. You right. You were saying things like fate and I think duty. what we might consider doing is putting it on, uh, putting it on uh, auto, but leaving it on the normal sleep text speed. You can just let the game kind of, people read along if they want to. No. Play to a, well, I don't want to do sense. that in case there's there are a couple of things uh, coming up like where I might want to uh, stop and uh, oh, chat about what just happened. Whereas if it you. just goes on auto, then there's not a whole lot about okay. it. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, why were you trying to wake me up? Well, you know. But we don't know. <laughs> Lorax, haha, she said duty. <laughs> I said for ah, yep, there is a backlog. Ah, no, Mark, <laughs> no, stop! <laughs> and they just kind of... You probably found the button that hides the uh, it's a text you can look at. The well, CG. great. So that is not what I, <laughs> that is not what I wanted to have happen. 
Okay, how do I stop the skip? There we go. I could pull up the, the log. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, well. Well, that was fun. So, next to you. <laughs> okay, here we are. Also, hello, Inkbig. <laughs> Sleep talking actually cost me rejected from CIA uh, agent work. Indeed. Not, not surprised. The loose lips uh, sink animes. <laughs> I still can't believe that they have a button to just zoom the skip past. I should, because that's a very common visual novel thing. Right. But uh, that's the first time I've ever actually hit that I've hit that button. <laughs> which which button was it? Uh, it's R2, R2, so I will not be hitting R2 ever. <laughs> um but yeah, I was actually trying to find auto, which I think is R1 now that I think about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, long story short, uh, Aerie is kind of interesting. We'll probably never see her again. <laughs> there we go. Wow! <laughs> 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 Thank goodness there was no plot exposition in there. Boy, my face would have been red. <laughs> in relation to my share, anyway, unfortunately. Lorex has been told he talks in his sleep, but doesn't believe it. You need to like get the, hook up the recording equipment and uh, verify that. <laughs> it's what interesting things you say. Maybe it'll be it, about fate and duty, you know. It's far more likely it involves something about uh, Leon or Ashley or <laughs> inventory management, I would imagine. Yeah, Lorex has, in Lorex has inventory Tetris in his sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one thing that I will say about this is that, um, as you might guess from the fact that it's Nippon Ichi and incredibly anime, this game is very, very, very Japanese, and Shin Kamikaze is a very Japanese character, especially in the modern era. Even if the name is basically something that a white Westerner would come up with to make it sound Japanese. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> huh? But uh, yeah, he basically, turn. you know, he is a recluse character. He doesn't want to get involved with any of this stuff. And that actually is kind of a, you know, a cultural problem that happens. Uh, that you see in Japan. Right. So I find that actually kind of interesting that you, know, you have a story that kind of takes that into account now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there has been a... Or she's a Sudoku in his sleep. The puzzles make no sense. <laughs> uh, Inkbago once spoke to the missus uh, accidentally to describe the apple orchard he once planted, but couldn't figure out how she knew he planted it. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Now, did you actually did you actually plant one and you and were re remembering it, or is it in a dream? <laughs> I don't know if you're a, a farmer or something, and that's why you tune in for Rune Factory. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and oh. this is our introduction to the primary baddies. These are devils, right? But unlike the West, they're actually seen with black wings because. Uh, the Japanese kind of, when they appropriated the Christian iconography, they also kind of incorporated it with the yin and yang dichotomy instead of seeing them as being um, basically like Who are uh, you fallen, for right. like a better term. Yeah, so usually when you you, you, have, you see the demons portrayed in Western stuff, yeah, they, they have like, yeah, they have bat wings or something else, or right. like completely monstrous. So to emphasize the fact that they're evil and kind of disgusting, whereas for the Japanese, they're supposed to be kind of the dualistic idea. Right. I was describing digging the holes putting trees in. Did that in his teenage years. Huh. Fair enough. Not a farmer, just multi talented. But I, I am impressed. I've never grown anything more what elaborate is this? than. Some kind of joke? Uh, than anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is all very sudden, but you need to die. <laughs> I do love that the devils are tend to be fairly overdramatic. Everybody has a really fancy uniform or outfit in, in this game. Right. Well, wait! Why do I... Uh... It's like once they realize that the... <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, yes, you do start out this game by dying. It's amazing. 
Also, do keep this in mind for future reference. Uh, yeah, the, when a devil says that they're going to kill you, uh, they really, really, really mean it. Mm. Uh, it's actually kind of interesting that they emphasize what that is this? You know, devils are just pretty re <laughs> uh, relentless and remorseless when it comes to things like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lorax, you died. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> One thing now, the big the big complaint I have with the visual novel type things is I, I don't I don't dislike them in principle and everything. It's really it's just it's just books you read that happen to have pictures every now and then. Right. And that's fine. It's but it's it's how they they, they uh, how overwrought stuff like this is. It's kind of you know relentlessly you kind of you know pounds in the reactions there, and I guess it's because they do it for maybe for dramatic uh, effect. You know, when you're only having a couple of, like words or sentences on screen at a time, but I, that's the big thing that keeps you ever getting get, ever, ever really getting into. Of course, you know you don't actually read books anymore. Yeah, so. I never really, really, really read fiction much in the first <laughs> place. But see, by making it a game, they could they could trick me. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're basically saying is that if you it had fewer words, you'd be more interested. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> now you can see the kind of uh, roll of my eyes that I gave there. <laughs> Who are you? And needless to say, this you is one no of the primary me. characters. I, I like refined girl. I, shall give uh, you I only happen one to lean more, more toward a fancy girl, but... I hereby place this being under my care. If you intend to get in my way... <laughs> I shall teach you a lesson. Well, it sounds like the sword slash sounds, so you already taught them the lesson. <laughs> But this is also kind of something to emphasize and note for later. Uh, yeah, even though this is very obviously our introductory angel character, she kills just as remorselessly as the devils do. Mm -hmm. Of course, one could argue that uh, she has a much better reason for it since the devils have already killed somebody, but you know. Uh, it's kind of a shame they have... <laughs> Refined girl, more like fine girl, am I right? <laughs> All right, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> R.E. Fine Girl. <laughs> but uh, it's kind of a shame that this this is the, the VN style or light novel style or whatever, so you can't really see that it's in action. I would love to see a sword fight animated trying to keep that hat on her head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, the dead human. <laughs> Are you alright? Please hang in there. It is, it is, oh. That makes a Sakura spirit look really different. <laughs> this is no good. Same, same this kind continues, of thing. I must take him to Celestia Oh, uh, Ethic's theory says it's held on with hair clips. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Also, hey there, Vex. <laughs> yep, she's just, yep it's, it's, it turns out this is all uh, My Little Pony tie-in. <laughs> of course, it's Princess Celestia of Equestria, I believe, instead of. The way around. I'll freely confess, I don't know enough about My Little Pony <laughs> to say whether that's right or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess I could be going to hell. <laughs> kind of like how, when, regardless of what uh, what religions actually say, a lot of you know, in the West especially boils <laughs> down to it's like yeah, if your karmic balance is a little on the it tips a little high, then then you get to go to heaven. If it's a little low, yeah. You know, maybe. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, yeah, the Western morality is if you're better than Hitler, you go to heaven. <laughs> but Hitler's totally going to hell. Absolutely. <laughs> exactly, Vex. Wayne knows too much about it. I, I, I've admitted to watching, I think, the first three seasons before. So, All I'm going to say is that he held forth a conversation <laughs> with a mother of uh, toddler girls and completely knew everything that was being talked about. I had no idea, because I am actually a man. <laughs> no, no, more seriously, from what I hear, you know, it's actually fairly uh, fairly popular with grown guys. It's just not quite my thing. Yeah, it's, I actually, you know, I, I haven't seen anything about it recently, but apparently there was, there was some episode where they kind of uh, snuck in a... Some really interesting uh, philosophical stuff about uh, 
I forget what I forget what it was compared to, but it actually got nominated for a Hugo Award. Hmm. Before <laughs> <laughs> Wayne is not a GD right. brony. <laughs> well, he was. He was. <laughs> I said, uh, you know, I have gotten uh, friendship you points with the right? chat. You've gotten rivalry points. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that person on the right, that is the sassy girl that uh, Wayne <laughs> mentioned earlier. I also do find it kind of interesting <laughs> that... Um... <laughs> Plus one, Wayne minus a thousand. Testing, but I admit testing. that it is actually kind of interesting hey, that in terms of a, um, if so, a heroic origin story... That this one goes pretty much as far as you can in terms of you know starting at base zero, mm -hmm. because yeah, Shin is starts out being completely useless, and now he's going yeah, to be. Um, I can hear you. It's a bit of a process, but he'll be obviously turning into I God. So. Uh, zero to hero was a pretty we well known, very well established trope. Yeah, but I'm saying he's really a very low zero, so <laughs> and no he isn't like most like people go with like fail. you know the Hercules thing, zero to demigod hero. Mm -hmm. No, he's going straight to God Hero. Who are you guys? <laughs> it's to be versus ben, but it'd be lopsided. Uh, Darn right it would be. <laughs> Gives me, you know, brushing off my lapels the and uh, starting a little bit. But it would be incredible. I just have to rest on the right laurels now. of all the people However, who said they're here to listen to me names. talk. God. God. <laughs> <laughs> we had a when Ben, ben and played about the first hour and a half of this, I think, to see if it would be good, a good stream game or not. And or what's a scientist angel? It's more likely than you think if you're familiar with uh, Oh My Goddess, but um, yeah, basically I, uh, it is much like in uh, the Marvel Universe interpretation of the Asgardians for Thor. Uh, they posit that angels generally have a very significant mesh right. of magic and technology. Uh, oh my goddess is a great example of You've this, where yes, the goddesses do use um, you know, magic and energy and whatnot, huh? but they also do it through scientific means. Mm. Let me see uh, Vex, I am playing time. this on the PS3. I don't know if it's we for any other system. You. Lorex asked, uh, what kind of name is Goopy? Uh, it's a, uh, yeah, the, her name is Goopy-L, and it's short for that, because they do have that Hebrew convention of all the angelic beings ending in L, which is the suffix meaning God. Right. And, but I do not know so what Jupy is, if anything. Yeah. Well, it, it's just a short form. You first, and because her name is very silly, that's the only No, I mean Jupy, J U P I. No oh. It should be oh, something yeah. of God. Right. Yeah, I think that's just, I think that's where the whole. Like, uh, you, like you like name. Dying um, and being resurrected? Uh, You're not making you, any like, sense. Yeah, like a Japanese person thinks of a, an American name, comes up with, like, it's fine Liner Barsnet, I think is our uh, Yeah. So. <laughs> you need to Just, it's their syllables. You know, it sounds right. What's important starts now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Ben and I had a conversation right. uh, while he was well, I got to see him the first time you must about that kind of thing, of and it reminded me of do, the, the appeal that Exalted has for a lot of fans. That, you know, whether whether or not you you, you, may, you may not have a... And the idea behind that one is just a real, real quick, you know, uh, overview for that, is that there are these shards of magical power that can be, you know, that can be infused, that can infuse your soul and basically give you access to these incredible powers that are the default, but the default then, one associated with the sun, the solar, I may still solar, lack experience, and, and so on. I shall serve and as your yeah, guide. it's like you, you may not have any merit of your own. Don't if bother, you're doing something dramatic, you're, you're trying, you basically, in a moment of great, home. you know, crisis, and you may be chosen to exalt no, and get all the, get all, the, you know, get all these amazing powers. After all, and yeah, that, and that appeals to a lot of mission. people who may, them, who may themselves feel you know, ah, desperate and so powerless and stuff like mission. that. But you try really hard in this moment of crisis. Very well, you know, you come through you and, you know, and you are, it's best. amazing and everything. And that's the same kind of thing here, although they, you know, they, they drag it out a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, as you might expect, as I mentioned earlier, uh, not only is there the angel and devil thing, these are basically the two romance or relationship mm -hmm. options. So do keep that in mind as well. It's always Betty and Veronica. You know, it's a different different countries, different you know, worlds. It's been decades since on. the whole thing started. It's if you always don't die, then start <laughs> Betty and Veronica. We'll talk more after that. Really, I say that, but you know, Ben had no idea what I was referring to when I. I still that. had no <laughs> idea. Yep. Mission one. Time All right, we're actually awaken. getting into gameplay now. Whoa. I think. Hooray! <laughs> I, th I think that's it. We can and I apologize in advance. We, we keep joking about uh, about like you know how, how you feel old now that you know we're both in our thirties and everything. I think it's when you make I'm not in my thirties yet. Well, yeah, but when you uh, when you start making those references and people and no, people don't get them. 
<laughs> Lorax chooses to hurt Ninja Mom or Flower Girl. <laughs> it is not technically a dating sim. It's just like like most novels, they do include the romance thing to hit you know the full spectrum of emotions, or at least they try to. Right. Which would mean the full spectrum of otaku. <laughs> Thirty hours of text planner. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I kind of encourage Ben to stick with the, the auto of play and everything. So people that kind of care about it, and, and like only about half the game is, well, I'd say maybe a little over half, is voice acted anyway. Right. So it kind of keeps things going while you know, we, we talk about uh, what's going on. They do have these little things here where if you, you... You can choose to skip them if you want to, but I don't really see why you would. You could run myself <laughs> and so you can feel like a creeper. It, I don't necessarily think that at least hitting on Ariel would uh, make you feel too creepy. <laughs> Lorax does enjoy being a creepy guy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but before we can move on with the game, we have to be a, we have to get through a roguelike stuff. <laughs> you can make it even better if there's a bit of Gengaro Girl in there. Wink, wink. wink. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're you're going uh, way back on that one. Assuming you're referring to the manga, not not the not the uh, the cultural thing. Oh, the last the, when Ben played this one, he actually got a cursed sword to to be that first drop instead of the default one. Yeah, it was amazing. It was useless, and uh, I couldn't get rid of it. I, I love how they actually randomized that. That's going all in right. on your. <laughs> I'm guessing that's how they that's how they translated Shinsama, which would you know if he's if he's yeah. God would make sense, right? My favorite anime god is still the one from All My Goddess. <laughs> it is I. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of uh, the re and the reason I like that one so much is the, is how much homework that uh, Fujishima did, you know, to make it authentic. Like you know, when uh, like in in the in the Talmud, uh, God you know refers to himself as I am. So that's kind of how that's how the, the Japanese you know version did it. Right. <laughs> third one of these things it's okay they front load most of this <laughs> stuff because they don't actually add in uh, very many more like completely different mechanics right. as the game goes on at least they hadn't since the time I stopped right <laughs> Sir Shin Lady Ankle <laughs> but uh, but yeah so in this one we're still firmly in tutorial in the tutorial zone right so that's what they're doing this year I don't think you can ever go... Yeah, you can't ever go backwards in, in a dungeon. I don't believe so, mm -hmm. no. Because that isn't the roguelike experience, you see. Right. And I, I wonder if they're... I guess we'll find out when we play through there if they're actually you know, uh, procedurally generated or if it's just the same dungeon every time. Uh, it is procedurally generated. Interesting. Yeah, okay. everyone is different. I can say that unequivocal. Fair enough. <laughs> And these long segments without any with what it being voiced is just kind of kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, Vex. I don't know how in uh, on the year of our Lord uh, twenty four well, twenty fourteen in this case right. a uh, tech stump is still considered good tutorial material. Well, that's why you're having you're having a wife who talk to you about it. That, that makes it better, right? <laughs> Yeah, so the main uh, the main gimmick, or I can't even say gimmick, the main sort of gameplay, is you run into these these critters on the map, and and then you beat them over the head. Right. I think uh, I think Jupiel does blink, uh, Lorax. But it's not very often. Yeah, she sure doesn't do it as much. See, there she goes. Oh, she's closing <laughs> her eyes. <laughs> you were like a bacteria. <laughs> the one thing I really like, especially about uh, Ariel. Is that you know she actually you know pokes quite a bit of fun at Shin, and she actually has some pretty good lines in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are the plague, and we there are she goes. the cure. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she had it in her to blink. <laughs> is the best of staring contests. Because in this one, it's like I, I the first, I don't know if it's the first, but the main experience I had, I don't remember her name, but the actress for uh, Ariel was in uh, Tales of Vesperia. So 
you know, for, and, and Rita was also a redhead, you know, lab scientist, you know, character. Right. Who was a sassy and everything, so I can't really separate them too, too much. <laughs> Of course, that means more to Wayne than it does for me because he was the Vesperia guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a pretty big fan of uh, the Tales games. Are very much a mixed bag, you know, in, in my in my book. But I liked uh, Vesperia. And I was saying, yeah, they only blink when they're talking, not when they're off to the side like that. Kind of like you just saw Jupiel just blink right there, even though she's not, you know, the active uh, person. I'm starting to think it's a little bit like the Dora the Explorer thing. You know, they're just long periods where they just stare at you. And then, right. oh yeah, we need to remember to make them blink. Right. Yeah, I think it, I think it's more so that only certain poses have them blink at all. Right. Like, I don't think Ariel does when she's, a, when she's doing that one. Yeah, I think it's their, like, their normal relaxed pose has them blink. Right. And then otherwise they don't. Yeah. And I don't know how you feel about this one, but, you know, for me, it was like the fact that they, they blink, but their lips don't move. You know, that's what that's what kind of struck me as really weird. Like if you're gonna do partial, if you're gonna partially animate it, you know. Of course, at least they're not at least they're not as bad as in uh, Agrest War, where it's like you know the you see you see the you see the the girls breathe, and usually only the girls. You see see them breathe, and you know the the bosom heave and and everything, <laughs> but and blink, but but lips all move. Nothing that would require effort beyond. Of course, that game is kind of skeevy to begin with. So. I was about to say, you know, for Agress War, you know, they're making the ideal woman for their fan right. base. You know, they blink, they breathe, their bosoms move, and they don't talk. <laughs> they don't talk, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Lorax, uh, he claims that since they're angels, they can use telepathy figure or something. Well, only in D&D. &D. <laughs> uh, angels, I think they don't actually use that. They have tongues, but it's doubles oh, yeah. that use telepathy. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Geek, uh, geek cred gained. Yes. Oh, yes. I guess I lost some points. I think some of them use telepathy, like the I think the Elodrin do, maybe. Now, I will say that one problem that this game does have is that, yeah, they go on way yeah. too long about basic things. That's what I, that's what I was trying to get to, or trying to uh, to to get to get on earlier. The fact that they they, they say uh, they say you know in three or four text boxes what one would usually do. Right. Because yeah, all you really need to know are there are these things that want to kill you, go forth and kill them. Right. But said, yeah, they go on for a long time. Right. And then after that, we are not going to have either of them either of those two say anything right. until we get out of this dungeon. So the idea here is that because you know Ariel is your is a scientist who's kind of overseeing this whole thing. This kind of uh, mission control here and keeps the log of what happens in combat. Right. Uh, does Scoopiel ever do that, or has it just been her so far? Thus far, it's only been Ariel. It's Ariel, right? Don't hit R2. Don't hit R2. <laughs> Don't hit R2. <laughs> Much as you might want to. Well, it's because uh, the way that I'm holding the controller, I could accidentally flick it at any time. Oh, yeah. And then once I do that, like the entire dialogue goes by. <laughs> A cousin in a dream. <laughs> it's like Inception, but but with but but not at all actually. <laughs> Somehow the damage being in a text cloud from Redhead is really weird. <laughs> it is a little bit weird, I'll admit. Ah, but the, the the first thing you see the damage is flying over the enemy's heads like like usual though. That's just uh, holding keeping the log there in case you. Um, in case you, in case you're you and want to calculate exactly how much damage you're doing. <laughs> oh, I am relieved, Sir Shin. I will also say that I have a really oh, odd, you know, love of like the mad scientist laboratory uh, aesthetic. So something like this is just right on my alley. Right. <laughs> it's weak needness. Misaria. Sertion was originally <laughs> a common, a common being. being. A common. It is understandable, since this was only his first battle. It's been a long time since I, I've, I've, you know, felt the Even need so, to harp on that voice acting since we've come so far along. Perhaps but this Jupiel just sounds a little too serious and to form of what they're going for. Like when uh, she had the, you know, big oh, smile, know. like, you know, in eyes and everything. It was wasn't the voice you'd expect to go with that. in the chest. But I think it's death? actually pretty valid because of uh, what you find out about her later. Mm. How am I still alive? <laughs> Their shin was a comic. 
And then he was knighted. Now he's... Knighted? He's God! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> if we cram all the information you seek into you at once... <laughs> well, be, be, uh, be God or be knighted, see which one gets you more credit increase. in England. Yeah. True. <laughs> you should That's true, there is a while. law in England that you After can't you be knighted down, if you don't want to. to there is no law step. saying you can't be turned into God Maybe if you don't want to. Didn't that date back to, like... Like in the feudal agree. era, people so would like would it was to knight their rifles to get their more taxes from them or something. Yeah, basically, I don't know if it was the, under Prince John or if it was someone else, but yeah, the entire idea was that if you were a knight, then you would have to pay more taxes. So the king would actually just you know find rich people and make them knights and charge them more taxes. Right. And eventually, a lot of them said, "This is stupid. We're not <laughs> doing this." So there you go. Yep. And there, in a lot of the segments here, it seems like there is a format so far where you have a dungeon, where you have a dungeon to go through, you have some dialogue afterwards, you go into go. this, and then you have a, a a part where you stop and then make a decision about who you want to talk to. Right. And it seems to be a pretty, you know, a pretty consistent thing so far. <laughs> Lorax is not a knight. I am the knight. I am Batman. So, as a quick bit of explanation for the stuff that you're seeing, uh, among other things, again, remember that this is a roguelike, which means that everything in your inventory goes away if you die. So, for example, the storehouse is meant to store your stuff, very obviously. Uh, the shop can be used to purchase or sell things. Item boost I'll worry about later, because even in the previous playthrough, I've never used it. Right. Um, it, it, you get so little money, you know, for how much the, these things, these things early on ask for. Right. That. And there's nothing over here that we need to worry about right now. So, next event. Yes. Sir Shin. It's a pretty how fancy. Are you doing? What is Have that? Uh, uh, organ, pipe organ in the back. I think so. Yeah. Even if you tell me to calm down. It's impossible when I can't make any sense out of where I am. Of the, or what's happened to me? Uh, like paintings and pictures of the old-fashioned concert halls. They mm -hmm. had like the Understood. full three quarters uh, with theater with balconies and things like right, that. Right. This is yeah, I just I really like that aesthetic as well. Mm -hmm. There's a big kind of overarching discussion we can have about. about how since you know people have to. And there's an artistic term for it too, but I can't remember what it was. I am an like I, I guess I only have room in my brain for one at a time and right now. It's uh, Kiroscuro. <laughs> so um, but uh, Kiroscuro, that was it. Yeah, I can mispronounce that one. Uh, but yeah, the, the idea of that, that when we're trying to imagine are things are that are beyond us, we break them down the into devils. terms we understand and can relate to. In which case, kind of like with Asgard, like Ben was saying earlier, with, with the, the Norse the characters in the Marvel comics. Now, you know, Asgard is really fancy and golden and stuff like that, because that's what we associate with the most with the most impressive things we can imagine. Right. You know, gold for wealth and, you know, gigantic art structures, because that only certain... Because you know, it's an engineering mark. Yeah, exactly. But it's like, you know, is that really what they would have? You know, we, we just don't know. Right. We, we have to think of these things in a way that impresses us and go from there. Wait, yeah, I'm actually, on. I was doing some research this? in the Enlightenment era for philosophy, and that was one of the big points that they raised. Like, type of fraud, you know, human beings right? can only understand and, so uh, and you know, extrapolate you from what we have from sense me. impressions of. My Everything stems from that. Right. So control. when people talk about things they don't understand, that's why they always say it's like this. Right, right. Uh, Lorax asks, so these do angel ladies rescue you, but you can decide later, this fuck them, I want to be a devil, and I worded that weird. Yeah, you kind of did. Liar? Um, <laughs> Angels? Devils or that will be uh, brought up a little bit no later. There's no way I'll believe you. Um, <laughs> you must be crazy or The something. idea is that... Uh, Understood. While you can use demonic power, I don't believe you can technically be a devil, an just like technically you are not an angel. Right. And, and before you can, you can before you can you screw anyone, you probably have to be near the end of the game. Right. And <laughs> I believe it was actually in uh, the Gamefly sleeve uh, that you have to choose one of them to die. Oh, so, well that's quite, quite the, the giveaway. To, right, you know. right. Oh, there was, um, on, when, we, when we got Evil Within, on, on Gamefly, I've been going to set up to get that one. Oh, so, uh, when we did Evil Within on Gamefly, the, the sleeve of work spoiled the twist. You know, that like, you're not supposed to find out until about like two-thirds of the game devils? that you're actually in, in the Matrix. And they just said, they just... <laughs> yeah, before the end of this epic story, the girls largely put in Kamikaze's hands and he'll be forced to choose who lives and who dies. <laughs> so... <laughs> 
So choose wisely. Thank you, Gamefly. Choose wisely, chat. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, going back to what I was saying, you know, not only is that why people, you know, trying to describe something that they don't understand will say it's like this. Right. But also when you're thinking about, you know, trying to invent something, like when you're talking about the kaiju, for example, like mm -hmm. Godzilla, it's always, you know, similar oh, to something we already know, timing. just bigger or better. Oh, Vex saying he misses evil within right now. <laughs> well, there goes your relationship points with me, Vex. Yes. Ooh. So, are you feeling pain anywhere? But, uh, yeah, and that's one thing that I actually like about this, because they uh, really have the good uh, design aesthetic for trying to grab things that we kind of associate with the well, different things, like you the, the concert hall, straight through and then the making sword, it bigger. So mm -hmm. obviously so, exactly. hurt. I shot you up with painkillers, so endure the rest. <laughs> you did get pure straight through the sores off you, so it hurt, obviously. Right. I feel like I have a headache. I think I'm bleeding a sweat more <laughs> from this situation. <laughs> I see. You seem to be progressing smoothly. There don't appear to be any signs of rejection. So <laughs> any signs of rejection? Well, <laughs> I guess he hasn't hit anybody yet. <laughs> Are you a doctor or something? Well, I, I think the or something applies. Yeah, I would what think are so. You? My specialization is crystal you, You'd have to have a doctorate in that one. I would like to know where she got her degree in crystal uh, energetics. <laughs> What's that? With some, you know, dippy dippy new age, you know, thing. But I will say Maybe that, yeah, I could probably uh, spin an entire another it, channel so or stream the details, into the idea of crystals and it's a how truly weird can <laughs> something can be. Right. Like, I actually read an article about one of the uh, leading theoretical physicists mm -hmm. who was talking about, you know, uh, time actually being, in a sense, a crystallization. Mm -hmm. So if we were to ever do time well, travel, you would actually do it almost like a crystal, because like they can extend in time as well as in... Uh, mm -hmm. As well as space. So, so it's crystal spheres all the way down. Study. Yes, basically. <laughs> Lorax wants to know where she got her hairspray. Yeah, like just have, have, have to get it parted at exactly the right, you know, uh, the right you know, pose and then, yeah, the solidify it there. I would love to see somebody trying to cosplay as her. That would be amazing. Of course, of course keep in mind that her, her, her lab coat is permanently flared open, too. So I'd like to imagine that she's got some kind of... You know, magic uh, wind thing at, in front of her at all times, you know, making sure the hair is blown to the sides and the coat is back. <laughs> Clearly Didn't dealing with the occult. The purpose of the angels who it's true, evil within was an exercise in suffering. Is to set you up as so Vex has uh, proven that he has the quirk of Masochist. <laughs> set me up as God? Fight devils? Well, that woke us in, in uh, Darkest Dungeon, that's just an affliction, so it'll go away this? eventually. Because I don't think Vex can be cured. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's no point in resisting. You don't have any choice. Out of context theater, there's no point in resisting. <laughs> what the hell? Are you threatening me or something? I'm not gonna become God for you. Or... I do love how <laughs> you has... I don't want to be God. You can't make me. <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken. It's already too late. <laughs> I made you God three After minutes all, ago. <laughs> you've already become God. <laughs> Surprise! You're God. <laughs> huh? What'd you say? One of my favorite ones, if we, if we don't end up making a choice in the conversation, is like a one in four chance to get it. If they actually have this Liar. random digression I mean, into changed. talking about the real god. Right. It's like the game doesn't even know what's going on, I don't think. Let me explain no, but to say this, he didn't suffer, step. you did. First, mm. <laughs> yeah, Vex, I guess you must have been there when we tried That's that Nightmare Run stream, right? Oh, god. That, was, that was dire. But <laughs> I'm still alive. You were transported here. In he does a, a good job of kind of doing then the whole, like a parent talking to a three-year-old, you know, to another voice. You as God. <laughs> Between me being dead and getting revived, I feel like you skipped over a whole bunch I of steps. Ask for this. Like, what was that about a crystal? I remember talking to some people about the the, uh, fate awakening the, the crystal. third edition, where they it kind of the went all in on crystals for psionics. It's a part of me, I guess, the yeah, part of our thought was I that was see. some kind of you know, grand unified theory to sync up no you know, the new age, you know, psychic powers and the real world, you know, beliefs That's people right. have in that kind of thing. Even I, you know, who spent the, my you know, whole life researching the fate of It turns out, yeah, crystals are actually, you know, really, have a 30 you know, really amazing understanding of it. The only thing they're kind of the go-to uh, choice in RPG or fantasy RPGs, though. Just keep these two points in mind. 
To put it simply, I am the creator of God. <laughs> Which it is, is you, if, uh, if this game's Catholic, would make her marry. <laughs> we can now it call her Ariel Theotokos. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, you can cash in that $5 theology word to not get anything. <laughs> Well, I'm only interested in making you God. I couldn't care less about the fighting devil's part. Ask Jupy for the details about that. As if the smart person to use couldn't care less properly. <laughs> yep, and that is that. Yep. I um I understand that the that the instant ramen and stuff like that is is the, the visual shorthand in these things for you know, absolute slacker and everything. But I actually really like, you know, noodles, uh, ramen, and stuff like that. <clears throat> <clears throat> what? <laughs> I'm just sleeping exactly as it is. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I also like uh, that transition uh, choice as well. You know, if you have a Jupiel scene, it's the white uh, wings on the right, and when it's uh, Ariel, it's the double wings to the left. Right. <laughs> Will you come to the control room with me? The Archangel, the leader of the Celestia, is waiting for you there. The Celestia. That's the thing that Although kind of confuses me because it's, around, it sounds several times like there, you, to... you know, there might be other Celestias. Like I think they also mentioned that uh, to become God, the God of the Celestia devils, or something, or something like that, implying there may be other gods. Um, so but then is this is the only Celestia, at least so far, that I know of. Right. So it might uh, come out later on. There's, yeah, there's also some dialogue that the UPL has, which implies that the or all the angels that are left are here. Right. Which is you know doesn't kind of jive either. Yeah, I guess I guess they'll be straightening that out later. Right. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm sure they will. <laughs> it's it would be just very unfortunate that you take a game that's that's so focus on, on its writing like the that these no kinds of games how much I think about and then they and the writers are lazy about it. That right. you definitely made the wrong choice. It happens a lot. Well, yep, we're getting close to Whoa. the next dungeon What's folks. Going on? Red alert. <laughs> that is the enemy detection alarm. It appears the devils are invading. But I'm yeah, considering that they're they're apparently station. flying around in some kind of mobile devils. space fortress, just imagines a bunch of so yeah, intercept basically imagine a bunch of the, the devils in their uh, SS uniforms from the intro, flying around in Tie Fighters or whatever, you know, to to uh, land on it. And <laughs> I wish I could make that Tie sound, you know, as they use. Uh, Why me? There's no right. way I'd be able to do something like that. <laughs> Sir Shin. You have become God. <laughs> That's God's very closely like, what? <laughs> yeah, the, these the bridge these bridging scenes can last a long time. They get shorter as time goes on. Uh, this game unfortunately makes the devils, right? and okay, putting on my writer hat. <laughs> They have done a tremendous mistake in so far as they front load their exposition, which is a major no no, you shouldn't do that. Right. Because stuff like this can be explained later, more organically, and without making Bex fall asleep. Um, unfortunately, this is a little bit of amateur hour when it comes to that. Because they say, okay, people need to know what's going on right away. And so you have these long, long periods. Where they're just you're sitting around talking at each other, top it all off. which is you want just me to fight devils? no. Hell no! Yeah, and, and, and the I whole point of uh, this one, the more I've said, is that sort of, sort of assertion. Sushi, they call them God shit. Please calm down. Yeah, that, yeah, it's, it's a really weird one because yeah, I think I said earlier they're they're, they're, they're probably the going angels. for like uh, Shinsama, which is a term you would use for you know you. for a for a, for a higher being or in, in some way. Yes, the four, already four, died once, so I don't care. I'll just go back to being dead. But yeah, yeah, it's a, the entire point they're, they're setting up the here is that, is you know, normal high school kids, surprise, surprise, does not want to fight to the death the in this kind of, uh, in, in, in the uh, blood war. And, and actually, I want to interrupt there and point that this is exactly the problem I'm talking about. The, the enemy detection grid has gone off. Mm -hmm. We know devils, devils are attacking, but she's taking the opportunity to explain that the war against the devils is not going wrong. Right. This should happen later. Yeah. After the battle. And yeah, Vex is exactly right. Front-loading exposition just makes people not want to uh, play your game. Right. Which is why I think this game hasn't 
in all honesty, so what? has not been Sorry played very much. It's down, not very popular. But I'm not right. the type of person who could be the hero. But, but yeah, like, in, the like I was saying, is that with, with the kind of premise they have, they absolutely, Understood. and this would also help solve uh, Ben's problem, they absolutely should have involved, had the fight in the beginning much sooner and had, please, you know, the, and actually had some might. danger due to Shin here. Like maybe have a forced loss to go with, to introduce the whole like losing your items thing mechanic. To go with the uh, to go with like your forced uh, the forced tutorial at the beginning, and because yeah, as it is, it's basically you sit through these oh, probably about like 15 minutes uh, of exposition here to get to the punchline, which is more exposition. There's there, there's fighting going on, and, and your character deliberately is not doing. It. It's like yeah, you can make that work, you can make that dramatic, but they really should have you know uh, this yeah, they a need, it better. Yeah, they needed to condense it down. Right. Because, yeah, there's actually some interesting characterization going Designing on. Designing under enemy fire. <laughs> she tries her best to smile, but we didn't even bother animating it. <laughs> yeah, there's like, there is some interesting characterization Whoa. here. There is Why'd some interesting character growth that can happen, will happen a little bit later on. So you know, but it's I'm not so really slow, and you have to wait for so much to exposition to get there. Holy cow. Your body. And here's another sign of the lack of effort button. It's called the fact that, yeah, she's basically using the telepathy to Lorax mansion to, to talk. And like they don't bother, like, changing the filter image. or anything. Yeah, just put some transparency in there right. so that you know that this so, isn't, you know, actual art. Right. Isn't actually there, right? Intercepting the demons to Jupy and just act like you have nothing to do with any of this? like I have nothing to do with this. I actually literally have nothing to Except do with Except for the this. point where the devil's murdered him this morning. But, you yeah, know, details. But that was on Earth, and this is Celestia. That's what you think. <laughs> no matter how much you resist it, yeah, it's, a, it, it, it's yeah, I, I, I get that. Yeah, they're, they're, the kind of audience they're going for, yeah, this scene, you know, is pretty effective. Uh, That's just your selfish opinion, right? But, yeah, in, in my what mind, it's like, dude, I will be the middle of this. You know? <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, if someone, you know, stabbed me through the chest with a sword and you then I woke up and I'm gone, I'm like, you know, God. maybe you know, I'm at least going to try to find that guy. But so, yeah, let's get some old testament on their Democrats, you know, on the rears, you know. So. <laughs> At the least, I think I wouldn't have to be told Why like 50 bazillion times that I'm God before I kind of start wondering, you know, maybe powers. I should just you know, go ahead and test if out and prove it. Right, right. <laughs> I said that's impossible. Even if I have become God, I'm still me. To actually fight devils is... I will say that again, you could have an interesting Fine, thing where, you know, the entire idea isn't that so much that, safe. you know, Shin is, you know, he's stupid as he kind of comes off here. Through here? But rather that he actually just has no self-confidence, and more importantly, he's honestly invade. just kind of scared about everything. Badge. Right. It can't be breached uh, by the average devil. Yeah, but, I agree with Vex. At least gives us some disguise treatment it's not all the serious business. Here soon. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah Nippon, if, you're, if you're kind of confused and thinking, hey, didn't Nippon Ichi also do the game? With you know, 15 hours of, of text and angels fighting demons. Like, yeah, yeah, they did. Like but this is this isn't it. <laughs> About five times now, I think. Right. This is an intruder interception system. We call it Phantasma. Of course, uh, of course Disgaea went so far in in left field, it starting with the dimensional space was it, into uh, a three. To that was the game that took place in school. And make them I think that to yeah, they just they've really kind of gotten away from from the roots there. So hey. I think in. Uh, in five, they're doing but it. That's not mm. all. The guardians that are you're, created you're with the maze are to designed another to another intercept and eradicate like intruders. Like with this, yeah, I, I have realized that there is a there is a Come threshold a of of uh, of math mm -hmm. and and <laughs> numbers and stuff like that. More questions. Like so, and she transitioned to more effing expertise. You mean, oh my shin, shin right? <laughs> <laughs> but, oh my me. <laughs> oh, I was lying about that. I promise, this is the last screen of exposition before hey. we finally get to our dungeon. Yes, you're actually about to have now, some more, uh, some more rogue mad. trial you gameplay. You won't solve anything if you run away. <laughs> Problem's just going to but, chase But yes, after again, you. there is a threshold of the amount of time I'm if willing to waste problem, on, it face to on face. The, the number crunching the and everything, and Disgaea hit that problems. trigger. I admit, I was actually stunned when you like finally said that you had it. Yeah. Because I thought you were just going to, you know, you were going to grind you? that forever. There, there was a time when I was, I'd say, I'd, I think I'd just about beaten the, the first game uh, originally. And we got to, exactly right. like, I think I started doing item worlds. 
and the, that is like and that, that rabbit hole goes down forever oh yeah it's yeah. like you know because every every item has its own set of dungeons you can unlock new upgrades and it's nuts and and yeah it's like yeah, I, I, I got done I had done a couple of those then, I, then it just then like this kind of came to me it's like you know what this is really so, really freaking tedious do? and stupid <laughs> <laughs> And as I have not played the series since. So. And yeah, and the payoff for this uh, part of the exposition just kind of falls flat. Because yeah, it should have just been the thing where orders. you know Shin runs in. It's like okay, I'm in the shelter. This is great. Then Ariel says, "Oh no, this is the front lines." You'll be all right. Right. And then boom, dungeon. Right. Instead, yeah, like Lorik said, you know, we're going to be facing a dungeon that takes a you know only a couple of you minutes to beat. entertain me. And then it's more exposition. Right. <laughs> And you thought we were done with the tutorials? No, we're oh, not. Oh no! Oh no! More tutorials. But this at least emphasizes the how the game, you know, the primary mechanic of the right. game. Right. Yeah. Th th yeah. This is welcome. Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> If they're going to repeat somebody, I, I I only have one one request. Put quote marks in there, so I know you're repeating the question to mull it over, not literally repeating somebody's words back to them. Right. Just because that's you know, because that's how you you talk, I guess. Right. <laughs> Holy and vile. vile. Yeah, remember, when you deal vile damage, it can only be healed in consecrated ground. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great line, though. <laughs> God is great. He tolerates both the good and evil of mankind, which is why he can also do devil powers. Sure. Sure. <laughs> and Wayne did ask a great question earlier on. It's like, wait a minute, you know, if you're on the angel side, why, you know, why should you focus on, you know, building up your devil powers? Mm -hmm. And thus far, I have not received a good explanation. For why we are fighting angel aspected beings and things like this. Right. So I don't know if that's um, you know something where they are not technically angels, but they have like they use uh, holy power. Right. But uh, yeah, I thus far I still have no idea. Yeah, you would think it would be a complete no brainer. You would always focus on your your angel side, but <laughs> I agree with Lorax. Of course, you don't know if it's your secret power. It's their secret. Yeah, the clues <laughs> in the title. Yeah. In fact, yeah, noted. Yeah, noted. We're too cheap to, to voice this. Yeah, the, yeah. It seems like all of the dungeon segments are not voiced. And I guess I figure it's because a lot of people will be skipping them to uh, to go through there. And I guess if you're paying your actress by the hour, I mean, the game is going to be like twenty hours of dialogue. Right. <laughs> yeah, the sleeve says that there's a hundred hours of gameplay. I am certain that isn't correct. <laughs> I'm certain there's like 20 hours of gameplay and 80 hours of dialogue. 80 hours of freaking item dungeons. Right. <laughs> okay, this is just... I'm going to uh, yeah, yeah, skip long... past this. Long story short, you can turn to a devil. It's great against angels. You can turn into an, uh, an angel great against devils. There you go. Yep. <sighs> That's the devil form. Yep. That's the angel. Yep. I turn around for a bit of a good look at you. Um, yep, we, we are we are a little silly. That said, you also need to keep powers like a Hadoken. <laughs> and yes, each uh, form has its own stat blocks. It has its own uh, abilities, and you level them up completely separate. Right. Uh, Vex asked the question I asked the first time, but at some point, people have just made an actual visual novel and said, "No." But the thing is, if they had, it would go to part sixty bucks to to the new to the Nippon Eiji Super Fans for it. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Although I'm sure that there's a visual novel that this is either based on mm -hmm. or that they did something with. Right. Oh yeah, AC Gauge. Uh, long story short, <laughs> because yeah. Long story short, that thing on the upper right hand corner is your AC gauge. It goes down as you move. If it goes down too far, then you uh, start taking your speed. Can like, we uh, like selectively lower the sound effects, maybe? Because yeah. I will do my best. Yeah. Probably not actually. Ah, please. There we go. That maybe does. Yeah. Done a couple. Yeah, I think that should work. 
I guess the music's probably about right, you know, volume-wise compared to us, but you know, the sound effects were pretty loud. There we go. That's about it. Also, to emphasize the fact that you're God, note that both your HP and your SP, basically your health and your magic, both go up as you move around. Right. Yeah, those regenerate, but the AC always goes down. Right. <laughs> this I'll let go because I actually find it kind of cute. Right. Maybe I'm a lion. <laughs> And then because that just gave, made me flash back to, to a Symphony of the Night where you had in the inverted library all the Wizard of Oz got references. Oh, yeah. Except for Alice, though. Alice. Dorothy. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Bleh, Dorothy. <laughs> the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> the... Uh, but yeah, yeah, I guess I guess Dorothy in that one would be uh, Maria. <laughs> yeah, I could actually see that. <laughs> no, we're not in Kansas anymore, Richter. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fortune doesn't make any sense. I hear you. I was trying to turn off the PS3. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you can actually fight them in human form, but it's potentially a pretty bad idea. Yeah, you don't get your benefits, you can't use any of your special abilities. Or maybe you can, I'll test that with this guy. Yeah, the big drawback to it is that, much like in the first tutorial, you won't kill them quickly, quickly enough to avoid taking damage. Right. Which, and that'll eventually catch up with you, even though you do regenerate out of battle. Okay, so yeah, you do have to uh, transform through this. You did it automatically. Oh, okay. I guess it's kind of a way to to keep track of which one you were uh, last, maybe. Um, yeah, always, basically. Yeah. And also, in case I didn't explain it earlier, to re-raise your AC gauge, you go ahead and just nom on food. Yep. Yeah, I, I imagine later later really big dungeons will probably have to you know, kind of carefully manage that get enough food you can actually finish the thing. Semi carefully, yeah. Mm -hmm. What about the, the health kit, uh, the med kit things? That's for those raise HP. Mm -hmm. If yeah, if you're getting if you're getting too much if you're taking too much damage in a single fight, you would need to use some items to get. The other thing is that since there are so many uh, wandering monsters, sometimes you simply won't be able to wander around enough to just you know, heal up. Right. Also, these are items. I will show them off for two of them. Oh. Basically, for every item. You have the option to either use it or throw it. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you use that poison leaf, you get poisoned. <laughs> However, if you throw it, he gets poisoned. Ooh. That's what I was doing much, though. All right. And that is the first trap. It is a bear trap. It doesn't actually do a whole lot. Uh, it just keeps you from moving. Right. It seems like the poison didn't have any effect until the thing woke up. Yeah, it... Does damage when you uh, well, when you move when you take game. actions. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing that maybe it just didn't trigger because he was asleep. Huh. But you know, you know what they say about you know uh, slowing down your metabolism to make sure you don't you know, get more poison in you. So yeah, the idea behind these creatures are that uh, they move more slowly than others, but they have a lot more defense and they hit pretty hard. Yeah, it's basically not really worth it to transform unless you have a. I assume at some point. There will be skills that. Oh, what was an accessory? That was an accessory that. I don't recognize it. Oh, it's cursed. Oh, it's cursed. Great. Wonderful. And that is a trap. Uh, all three of your stats can be raised by traps. So I don't know what it does, but it is cursed. Right, which means you can't do anything about it. Right. Well, I'll identify it later. Much like in Dragon Quest style, if you equip a cursed item, you can't get rid of it until you have it uncursed. Well, actually, I think as soon as the stage ends, it's back to being normal. Yeah, I believe that is the case. But yeah, I, I, yeah what I'm saying about the, about the rolling and that unless you have some skill, which we haven't seen yet, that would do more damage against them, you don't want to bother taking the, the time and SP to transform because it won't meaningfully speed, speed along the fight. <laughs> there we go. Yes, you can't miss with your Hadoukens. Yes, it is aggravating. <laughs> Actually, I believe you can miss with any of your attacks. 
which really is frustrating because you, know, you can throw down your big move sandwiches. Right. It is not. Uh, it's not pleasant. That was low, Duffel Man. <laughs> I am not going to fight that thing because I don't have to. Yeah. All right, on we go. Yeah, I, I believe there are five floors in this particular dungeon. <laughs> Terrible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a ranked spear. Interesting. What's up with um, that plus two? Plus two does it, it's the only pokes in the same square. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't actually do anything different, except it looks a little bit different. Yeah, I, I guess, I'm guessing that it's probably the only thing that's going to matter in the visual uh, effect. We did notice that last time, well, that was, well, that was playing uh, one of the members uh, testing it out. He got a axe at a drop. Like a stone, stone axe, yeah. right. And the gimmick with those seems to be that they have a, a wider damage variance. That the, the listed average is only you only roll sometimes, and the rest of the time it you know will, will do a bit less, a bit more, a bit less. <laughs> of course, it's soft and fill. The doctor will give you up to four hours after <laughs> taking the blue pill. <laughs> <laughs> yep. If you're, uh, if you're, if you're, you know, if the effects of your uh, your stat buff last for longer than four hours, you know, consult your uh, physician. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the thing that I've noticed that I kind of that it seems to be very oddly balanced you know, to me is that uh, creepy pill. <laughs> is that whenever you have the the big critical pill. Oh. So it actually is a very good pill. Oh, not creepy at all. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh, hi guys, and, and girl in the back there. But yeah, it's like you, you can get critical hits, you can charge up your attacks to do more damage. You can do these things to make you more effective in, uh, in combat. And it still seems like you know, most enemies will take two to three hits to kill, no matter what you do. So that wasn't fun. Right. But again, because you're God, just walk it off. Yeah, walk it off. Torx wants a creepy pill. <laughs> <laughs> you've already stabbed, you've already come out, of, you outed yourself as a creeper, so. <laughs> do, you, do you need the cure, or do you need one to, to make it worse? <laughs> Yay! Yeah, AC is definitely the panel that you're looking for. Right. Because, yeah, the other two you were rigging on your own. Whereas 30 AC restored is pretty nice. Right. Might, might it have might it have been better to like walk around the corner and do a review? Uh, down this corner? Mm -hmm. She would have found several more hits on. Oh, uh, because you're already halfway there, right? Oops. You, you haven't shut it off yet. But how how feasible or like what exactly kind of penalties or things do you take? Using like the, 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 the same type as the enemy. Okay, I can show that off yeah. uh, next time, next round. Yeah, because my first thought was, well, you have you have the the devil girl like you know smooching at you from from that far away. Yeah, would you have been better off to uh, basically? So, so, so basically, no benefit. Yeah, and you uh, lose SP while you're there. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Yes, that is a trap that just does damage, but it's still quite obnoxious. Right. Yeah, my first thought when you when you were doing that, or fighting the distance there, let's go ahead and start uh, hard opening uh, the double girl. But you have, but you can only, you only have a range attack in double form right now. Correct. Yeah. Later on in angel form, I get moves that let me rush at people. I don't think I ever get any kind of Hadoken move. Hmm. All right, everybody, batting down the hatches. We have some more exposition coming in. Just you wait. <laughs>